So, YouTube has decided to uh, basically say goodbye to the dislike button in a, in, a, in a way. The dislike button is still there. You can still click the dislike button if you want, but only you will be able to see you've clicked the dislike button. There will no longer be a number associated with the number of dislikes in the video. I can see the good side and the bad side of this. The good side is that, well, you know, people aren't just going to be, you know, people will, if, if, if you've got somebody that's just putting a dislike on there because they want to and they want to be funny, it's not really going to come back to bite you in the ass by people seeing it. And, you know, that is sort of protecting the smaller creators, as YouTube has said. They want to do this because they want to correct the smaller and the newer creators. And I can understand why. The downside is, if this creator is really atrocious, let's say you've got a new creator and they're just being, you know, they're, they're just being absolutely horrible, saying every single word under the sun, and they're attacking people, well... You're not going to know that until you've watched the video. And that means you're giving more views to the person you don't want to give views to. So there is a downside to no longer having the dislike button. Um, I don't know if... I mean, you, I know there's a way you can already do that. Basically, you can go into the options and you can actually take away the count for the like and dislike button already. But apparently YouTube have said that uh, because people do this, they will then be bullied and harassed by people online. But then you can also disable comments so you could actually just have no comments no likes no dislikes and i prefer to, i'd prefer to keep the comments and the likes and the and the dislike button numbers there because they do actually help creators a lot they help us to find what our community likes and don't like so let's say i make a i do a gaming video of I don't know. Let's say um, Peppa Pig. Let's say let's say the new Peppa Pig games come out, and I and I'm doing a afternoon with Jacob. I would then be able to tell if people liked it or not by the number of likes to dislikes. Now I know that I could see the number of dislikes using the YouTube app, but to be quite frank with you, the YouTube app doesn't really work that much. The studio app isn't isn't always that good, and you know the comments. Yes, you get comments, but it just I don't want to waste people's time because they'll they won't know if anyone likes it or not they'll have to read through the comments I don't want to waste people's time I want them to know if it's a good video they're gonna like or not like that's it so having the dislike button gone it sort of stops that I'll know if people like the video or not but other people won't know it until they've watched the video and then they'll think well I've just wasted like 30 minutes of my life I'm not gonna get that back thanks very much so, YouTube, I really, really wouldn't, you know, do this with the dislike. Just leave the dislike count where it is, okay? Many other social uh, social network platforms that don't have a dislike button, it doesn't end well for them. Just look at fucking Twitter. Just look at Twitter. It's a rancid place. Because, you know, you can't... The, what Twitter should do is they should have a like or a dislike button. That is it. If there's a disc, if there's a like or a dislike button on Twitter, there would be less of the rancid shit that we have now. But there isn't because there's only a like button, a retweet, and a share. That's it. There is not a dislike button. So the only way to sell someone you hate them or you don't like what they've said is to write a pretty worded comment under their post, and it's it's not always nice. So, if YouTube does this, I can see YouTube turning into a Twitter sort of thing. And no one likes Twitter anymore. I like YouTube. I don't want YouTube to turn into the online Twitter 2.0. But that's just my thoughts. I thought I would add it quickly while I was here. Um, but yes, I would like to know what you all think. Do you think that actually doing this to the dislike button is a good thing or a bad thing or are you like me where you can see both sides I mean as I said I see both sides but I prefer the dislike button to stay as it is um yeah I uh, yeah that, that that's it really I, I just thought I'd add my two cents in before before everything went to shit so yes um so I do hope you've enjoyed this video if you didn't 
hit the dislike button before it disappears. I've got no idea when they're going to implement this. They said they're going to implement it now, but I've seen many videos where I can still see the numbers. So yeah, I do hope you've... Well, well, I say I hope you've enjoyed this video. I don't think I mean that. What I basically mean is I'll, I'll just see you in the next video. Bye.